Okay, so this is a uh, one of the videos I'm going to make to, to kind of go through how we set up the home theater PC with Linux. Um, I, I apologize for the shakiness of this as it's uh, being recorded on my phone, but essentially what you can see here is uh, the Hulu desktop um, HD key map uh, INI file, and it's a little fuzzy, but you can kind of make out. Um, it's, this is a default file that comes with uh, some of the button layouts. Um, luckily for us, we're using the MCE USB uh, remote control, um, so we didn't really have to change anything, but you can also kind of change that to suit your needs. Um, one of the things we can do here is um, let me fire up and we can uh, look at how I modified the Hulu desktop file that's uh, one of the hidden files in your home directory that um, kind of controls and fine tunes some of these key things. So uh, let's fire that up one second. And I apologize, I'm typing with one hand here. Um, so, but essentially, so here when we pull this up, this is our um, .hulu desktop file in our home directory. Uh, one of the things you can see is I set this uh, full screen to true. So when we fire up um, through our remote control interface, which you'll see in a second, um, <clears throat> this will go into full screen mode automatically for us, which would be nice and handy. Um, and then the only other thing we can see here is, and again, everything else I've kind of left as default. You can see that the uh, remote um, section of this file has already been filled in and has the MCE USB remote for us, which we're going to be using. And everything else we kind of leave as default. And you, it's nice because you can also kind of see again what which buttons do what. Um, and this is also if you if you forget or can't make out what these are doing, you can see all this through the Hulu desktop. Once you get in there, you can go into the menu under your username, and there'll be a couple sub menus under your username. One will be keyboard, and one will be remote. And under the remote, you'll be able to access things like what each button does. So the other file let's look at real quick is um, the LIRCRC uh, file in your home directory, which will kind of control what your actual remote control does. And what I'm going to show you is the entry I have so that I can push a button on my remote control to automatically fire up Hulu Desktop. So let's, let's take a look at that. So when we go back to that file, um, you can see... Oh, here, one second. We'll fire it up. Um, essentially, you can see here I have a bunch of entries for VLC. Um, so once VLC is running, I can go ahead and do things like change the volume and change playlist settings. Um, but if I access this menu, I can scroll up. And let me just scroll all the way up through all my VLC stuff. So you can see here, and hopefully it's not too blurry, um, but essentially I have one here, that's, and, and I'm using my Record TV button. Let me see if I can show you that a little bit better. I'm using my Record TV button. So you can run IRW, and what that'll do is kind of sit and give you um, responses as you press buttons on your remote control, what button name that is for that button. And so I have a little button that has a TV recording, and I figured that would be a nice one to use for Hulu Desktop. That one's actually called Record TV, as you can see here, REC TV. Uh, we run that through IRE, uh, IR exec, or IREXEC, and what that'll do is kind of translate these button presses into a command, and, and we run the command through config. And so you see here I have some hotkeys my home buttons um, loads up uh, XBMC or Xbox Media Center which we use for our videos and music. Um, I have a teletext which I was just kind of playing around with that loads up Google Chrome. Um, and then of course the record TV button uh, fires up Hulu desktop which I have in my user bin. Um, and so what that should do is now when we press record TV we should get fire up um, Hulu Desktop, and again, remember we set that to full desktop in our Hulu Desktop um, configuration file in our home directory. So, what I'll do is I'll minimize uh, this so you can see see us firing this up. Now I'll show you um, 
Here I have the remote control. Um, again, we're using a MCE a USB remote control. It's a standard Windows Media Center remote, but the uh, nice thing is it works pretty, pretty efficiently in Linux. Um, I have another video and some tutorials on how we got this set up um, through LIRC. It's very simple, very plain, um, and I'll also walk through some of those uh, advanced configurations in your home directory as well. But um, so it, it's a little bit here, so you can see the record TV button. So I'm going to push this button, and we'll see, we'll fire up our whole desktop here, hopefully. So we have Hulu Desktop Fire Up, and again, you'll notice it's in full screen mode. And you'll notice also here I can um, go back uh, to the actual video itself here, and I'll turn the volume down a little bit here. So, but essentially, what you can see I have going here is um, is I, I have a, a video of um, The Simpsons, which I had been watching that one nice thing is wherever you stop if you have to exit the Hulu desktop will one of the default settings is it'll resume play where you were last in an episode um, and again I can use my remote I hit this OK key and that will kind of give me a pause play um, and one of the things I'll do here is I can show you um, that you can access the menu through the menu key so let's we'll try to, to go back here and get the menu and what I hope to show you here is that there is a setting under your username which you can come down here and it's under preferences and then we'll scroll down the preferences and oh actually I, I apologize it's it's not in preferences um, one second here And essentially what I'm going to do is show you the menu where you can see what uh, your input and output functionality uh, does um, with your remote control. And ah, So it's here under the help menu. We're going to scroll down under help. We're going to go to remote control, and you can see, sorry, it got a little bright there, but you can see under your remote control help menu, you also have a player menu, which will give you those basic key presses and what they do in the actual Hulu desktop player. Um, and at the moment, it doesn't seem like we have a whole lot of functionality, um, but you, you get all the basic functionality you would need, and um, we can hit the go back, we can hit the back key. Um, and we'll get back to our video. Uh, we can resume play here. And you can see that the, the video quality is pretty pretty good. Um, we're running this through HDMI out to our Plasma TV. And even at this uh, size, we don't get very much clipping. We also have enabled the default high, re high um, resolution video mode. Um, so everything's kind of going as, as high quality as it can be, and we don't really get much um, stuttering or uh, things like that that you might expect um, on full screen flash. So it, it's a pretty nice feature. Um, and then so we can uh, hit OK here. Uh, again, we can go back down to exit um, and exit out of our Hulu desktop, and we're back at our traditional desktop. So that's it for this video on um, kind of how we can use the remote control through Hulu Desktop. Um, most of it's by default. Um, there is one thing to note, and if you read the Hulu Desktop README file, which is, you can also uh, find out more about that on the actual Hulu Desktop uh, webpage, um, there is a switch that you need to use. So whenever you run your LIRC, um, you need to have the R switch. Uh, en enabled and so you can actually do that on the fly or you can edit your LIRC um, hardware config file and um, there should be an arguments um, a variable which you can kind of list in your switches that will be run at startup and so you just want to run a dash R and that's all listed in the readme file so check that out as well as for some of those basic commands 
um, and hopefully that will help you get running your um, your Linux uh, enabled um, IR remote and how you can use that in Hulu um, desktop on Linux. So that's it for this video and stay tuned for some more.